Good morning, we're going down to get breakfast. I slept a little weird. There is a lot of noise coming through the walls. It's not that isolated, so we can just hear everything. But I slept pretty well, but I could just hear music until like 2 a.m. And my boyfriend says that it kept on going until 6 a.m. That's nice and it's not even Friday or Saturday. Yeah, we don't have any plans today, so maybe we're just gonna move around the city. We'll see. I just went up to get my morning energy drink. I'm not the one who drinks coffee, just this. But I wanted to show how my fashion game is. <laughs> I have no desire to really wear fancy clothes when I'm on vacation because we just walk around so much. But I have these stacked uh, short leggings on. I love him. And then this Gymshark Whitney Simmons collab t-shirt. I love it so much. I have it in multiple colors. I only have it in black and white with me, but I have more at home. I love her collection so much. <laughs> I just ran up here because I forgot to put it into the fridge. We have breakfast at a little restaurant, so I don't feel comfortable bringing it with me down there. But I just wish I could. I just want to drink it. I just love the taste with my breakfast, but I think it's a little bit rude, so I'm not. Something every day, like we just put some of our own stuff in here, but every day it gets filled up with Coca-Cola, beer, Oreos, Skittles. We always eat the Skittles. Peanuts and Fanta and new water that gets put over there between all of the mess but it's so nice and it's all free it's literally all free but i just need to run downstairs again and then we'll eat breakfast and then i have to go to the shower because i didn't really do much with my hair yesterday i just washed it with water and it just needs to be washed with shampoo and then i'll dry it do something with my makeup put contact lenses in and then we'll figure out what we have to do today but that's the plan. That isn't much of a plan right now. I seriously love this too. By the elevator. It's so nice. And I wear socks and sandals. I know it's a very controversial thing, but I do. <laughs> Went into a little shop and got some donuts and something to drink and some sunscreen. We thought that maybe be a bench or something we could sit on, but there's nothing at all. It's just a big parking lot and we can't even go up to the parliament. There's big security and stuff like that. It's not like in England where you can go and see the place. And also in Budapest, there's much more access, but um, not here. So we have to go somewhere else and find somewhere where we can just sit and eat a little and drink. It's so hot today. We were walking around and there was no way to get into the parliament to see the grounds. And also there's a big church behind the parliament and we can't even go in there. We found a little garden where there's some church things, but getting into where the church is, you saw the top of it before. It's just impossible. We're gonna try something else, but I just get frustrated because I want to see all the things and we can't. Just from outside and there's 
big walls all around, so it's just near impossible to get in. Okay, we found out we couldn't go in because there's a big renovation happening, and it's everywhere, so that's why. But it's so pretty and big. I really wanted to see. Maybe sometime in the future. So ignorant little me realized later on on our trip that the parliament you can actually go in but you have to go to the park that's on one of the sides. Very complicated. But that's the only entrance you can have into the parliament. And this church that I just showed you is new. Like it has been under renovation for a long time and it had a pause in the renovations under Corona and now they are beginning to do it again and it should be done in the end of this year. But that's why we couldn't figure anything out. It is complicated and how would I know? How would I know? I couldn't have. So, but I found out later on. But we never actually went into the parliament because we didn't have time when we figured it out. But just a little tip from me if you're going. We went home for a little bit and took a nap and just relaxed and watched some YouTube and watched some YouTube videos and now we're out in the world again and trying to explore. We are trying to go over to a theater, a big theater. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna put it on screen. And it looks so pretty. I don't know if we can go into it, but I'm gonna try and attempt to do it. But yeah, we're just in a store right now to see if they have something to shave my legs with and also his beard. But uh, yeah, then we're gonna go up and then back again and then see if we can find somewhere to eat. Okay, we made it in and it's so beautiful. We had to pay like 10 of the currency here. I don't know if it's called lei or if it's called won or whatever. Some people call it different things, but we had to pay 10 each. So it's not that expensive and it's so beautiful. There's gonna be a concert and that's why we have to hurry up a little and then paying guests are gonna come. But it's just so amazing. It's spectacular. The details are so, so good. It's very Roman, but it says Rome outside. So yeah, it's inspired by that, I guess. It's so pretty. Good morning and welcome to a new day. Today we are up early because we have to take a little minivan up to the mountains where we have to see the castles today. We have two castles on the plan, then something I can't remember. But it's a three hour ride up there and then a three hour ride back and we have six hours to spend up there. So it's gonna be very exciting and, um, and I can't wait to see the castles. Especially at Dracula's castle. We're just gonna explore Transylvania and it's gonna be good. Come along with me. Yeah. Out here on the street, I'm losing my way. You've got into me, and that's my mistake. Some might say. Going underground, going underground 
have arrived at the first castle. It's so beautiful and the mountains are incredible. Like, look at this, so pretty. The castle. It's truly amazing and I can't wait to explore it. We just have a big line we have to go through with a lot of people from all over the world who take flights and buses, especially in Europe. The different countries in Europe, they have special buses that just go straight to the castles and then they come the night before to uh, stay and then get first in line to get into the castles but it's so it's so beautiful and the ride up here was so amazing too just had a quick stop. I got some coffees and now we're on our way to Brasov or Transylvania to see Dracula's castle. I'm so excited. The show Wednesday was filmed in this little town. There was a big uh, sign with the Nevermore school and we're not gonna visit, which I really wanted to, but we're not. Uh, but it's so cool to drive in the town where it's filmed. I love this series so much. So cool. Better believe it, we saw the castle for two seconds. You might have to be forced to call them out the news, they might have to come and put you off 19 years ago when I was still in college. We just got something to eat and now I'm heading in to just use the restroom and then we have to meet up with the group again and go to the bus and then we're going to the Dracula's castle after that. But I have no idea where the bathroom is. Okay, there's a line. There is a line.
you can't quite hear what I'm saying here, so I'm just going to make a little quick voiceover. It's just very busy in there and there wasn't much room and I liked the other castle better. <laughs> It was so crowded. We couldn't really move. It was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I'm making a little quick appearance from my editing state. What you just saw was the torture room and there was more stuff in there but I just showed you a little bit of it and at this point we were so stressed and we were just trying to get through the castle as quickly as possible and that's why a lot of the clips you see are a little bit shaky. It was so bad and it wasn't even one of the most busy days. That's what our tour guide said. I really just wish that we had more time at the other castle because there was so much more room and the passages were bigger and just everything felt nicer but looking at the clips back this castle is very beautiful and it has a spectacular view and i guess it's nice to say that you have been at dracula's castle even though that it's not really the castle that actually is described in the stories but i digress if you want to go on this tour I would say it is worth it because it's a beautiful ride over there and there's so much knowledge you get, much more than I could ever explain in these videos and it's just very interesting. But if you only go for that castle, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. I was, maybe you're not. It was just so busy, like it ruined the experience, just to be honest, but it was beautiful. So yeah, let's get back to the video, but I just wanted to say a little, a little thing. Oh, and also, by the way, we saw a proposal. When we came down, like we only had an hour and that wasn't much time for how busy it was. And I'm just gonna stop talking about it because I'm just, I was disappointed. But we saw a proposal on our way back and it was so cute. Like, and he picked the perfect spot. That man had prepared and planned. He was booked and busy and he was pre probably pretty nervous, but she said yes. And it was just so cute. And also the weather was perfect for doing that. Drive out to that man. And it's gonna be a long ride home. Good morning and welcome to a new day. Yesterday when we came home from the castle trip, we just passed out. We went out for eat. We went out to eat and then we came home and then just relaxed. I had a bit of a stomach ache so I didn't feel like vlogging anymore. And also this past night I just woke up all the time. I didn't feel that well, but I'm okay now. And now we are on our way to the National Museum to just walk around and see all the different stuff. A lot of things have closed down on Mondays, so we're just making the most of it today. It's Sunday. And then tomorrow we're gonna stroll around parks and stuff that can't close. So yeah, that's the plan. It's a beautiful day and I'm excited to see some uh, art. Okay, I'm off. I'm off. Yeah, that's a good level. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the gallery. I'm going to contact you. 
Det er også derfor, jeg vil gerne have den der European. Nej, men det kan godt være, der var lidt mere sådan... It's so hot in here, but it's very beautiful. The paintings are so well made. It's incredible to look at. It's so beautiful. I just wanted to update a little. I think the paintings are very beautiful and it's nice to walk around and see, but I want more information. There is hardly any information to the painting or the sculpture, like nothing. So I can't really connect and both me and my boyfriend are just a bit bored because when we go to museums we love to connect with the sculptures and paintings and just the things that we're seeing. There's just a name and then a title and I know that that is just how many art places are. I'm just missing that aspect of it. I need more information to think that it's immaculate and enticing and there's just not anything to really read. There is papers you can read about the timeline that they're made in, but not anything else. So that's just a little disappointing, but that's just how it is. I just wanted to share my thoughts on that and if you can relate to that, then comment below. Uh, the flat white, can I get it on ice? I forgot to ask. Iced? Yeah, can I get it iced? I normally can. I'm just a bit confused. Editing Erica again. This Starbucks story, I didn't tell you about it and it was purposely done that way but now looking back I just want to say that I'm still so confused like I had actually forgotten it before I saw the clips back but I was so confused like I just wanted it porn on ice that was all I was asking for I even said that I would pay extra for them just to do that because I just wanted it on ice but they didn't want to do that like at all so I had to order a new drink and that is what I did the fuck but I still don't really understand like maybe someone can enlighten me and I came across like a B -ish, I think and it wasn't on purpose that I did that but I was just so confused and frustrated like why can't you just take the coffee pour it over some ice I'll pay extra if that's what's necessary and then give it to me. Like I'm not asking for other than that and I made it very clear like just take what you made because they already made it and it was so quick. Like I asked for this right after I paid. But no, they already made it and it wasn't anything that they could do. So I was just, I'm still <laughs> so confused. I came out and to my boyfriend afterwards and was like, uh, what? Why? Like, I've been to so many countries and been in airports, like in even more countries with Starbucks, and I've never had this problem. Like, I forget to ask for ice so often that it's embarrassing. I should have learned by now, but I keep forgetting to make it iced. Now I think I've learned it, even though I forgot the experience. <laughs> but that's why it's good to vlog. <laughs> It wasn't even like on purpose that I was vlogging that conversation and I had a lot more of it but it, I didn't want them to look bad because I don't know why there was a problem like maybe it's just something that I'm too stupid to understand but yeah and that's the story of my Starbucks trauma <laughs> we are out again after having a little break at the hotel we are going up to meet a little Airbnb group for a sightseeing tour that's three hours and we have to walk all three hours so it's gonna be a very active activity um, we're walking up a hill right now and it's so hot outside I'm sweating uh, but the tour is about communism in the country 
and I'm excited to learn about the history now that we couldn't really read about it in the museum. Yeah, let's... 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 Hot outside, it's yeah, it's just uh, on another level here, and the humidity is also very high. It started raining randomly during the tour, and she said that it's not normal for Bucharest to just have this sporadic weather, but it's happening in the past month. Maybe it's climate change, maybe it's something else. Uh, I think I'm gonna tell a little about the information we learned over the clips that you already saw. So if I did that, good for me <laughs> but if not I'm gonna sit down when we get home sometime and just tell a little about what we learned because it's a very interesting history that Romania has so yeah but I would definitely recommend this tour that we went on it was uh, on Airbnb and it was so cheap like really really cheap the bus tour we went on yesterday was also very cheap and I'm gonna link them both below the one today was from Airbnb and the one yesterday was from TripAdvisor and I recommend to always book with sites that are certified so you don't get scammed of anything. Our tour guide also told us yesterday that it's very important to not take the yellow cabs when you're here and I think that's just a rule most places in Europe actually to not take the yellow cabs without having an app with it that's prepaid because a lot of countries scam people when they can just smell that you're a foreigner. I got scammed in Rome and I almost got scammed in Budapest once and I actually got scammed a little in Budapest another time I went so just be careful when you go and use apps when you can. Here we are using Uber the most but you can also use Bolt and that's also the app I use in Budapest. That's just a little tip but we are gonna relax for a little bit and then we're gonna head down to uh, get something to eat somewhere. We have no idea where we're gonna go today Tomorrow we have reservations at a really, really old restaurant that we actually got some information about today as well. So it's gonna be good. But yeah, that's that for now. I'm sweaty, I'm tired, my feet hurt a little, and I'm just ready to get something to eat. I am editing this vlog and it has now reached its end. I actually thought that I vlogged a lot more, but the last day we spent in Romania was spent at the Therme Spa again. And if you haven't seen that vlog, go to the previous video, I think. But yeah, it was very good and it was so nice just relaxing and enjoying each other's company and eating okay food. Like we went to the old restaurant, it's called Le, what's it called? Le Cabea, Le something, I don't know, but it's over 100 years old, it was very beautiful, it had live music, the vibe in there was pretty effing cool, the meal was not what I expected, I don't know how to say it in a nice way, but I was a little disappointed, it's one of the most well-known restaurants in the city, and we had better food on our first day in a little pretty unknown restaurant where there's no people and here there were so many people we had to wait so long for our drinks, our food, our everything my food was actually pretty cold when I got it it wasn't what I really asked for the meat was way too overcooked and the rest of it didn't really have any taste to it like it was just boring I hate to be negative but it's just my honest opinion what's good for me that's my opinion when i travel i really travel for the food i am a foodie i love to eat and oh my god i just remembered there was a brunch place on our last day there we just had the morning until we had to fly home it was so good like oh my god it's the best brunch i've had in so long it was a little bit more expensive than a usual breakfast place maybe I don't even know, like I thought it was just pretty normal for a meal out and there was so much food, like my boyfriend and I could have split it without a doubt, but we got each our own plates of food 
but there was so much fresh food in there and like that was just amazing and worth my money i didn't have to pay the night before at that old restaurant because i was just so like and i apologized to them and i even gave the waiter a tip even though i didn't think like he really deserved it because he forgot my or it is like a lot of times and there was just so many things my experience there was not up to par it's not what you say i don't know i don't know i think it's what came to mind not up to my expectations like the cab driver told us on our very first day when we were going to our hotel that people came like the, there was a 90 year old couple that came from canada just to try the food like i hope they got a better experience than i did i really do a 90-year-old married couple came all the way to Bucharest just to try that restaurant. If I had got that experience after that, nope. No, sir. I would have been so disappointed. At my 90-year-old age, with that much experience, and then get food, doesn't really have any taste, was overcooked, and the waiters keep forgetting my stuff. I also like the drinks down there. Maybe I'm just picky. Like I could be picky, but I also made my boyfriend try and the alcoholic drinks in the city, like not at the spa, like they were so good, but in the city, they were so bad. Also like, no, just, it, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna remember this trip for the most amazing food. If you want amazing food, go to London, go to Budapest, go somewhere else. Berlin too, that was also pretty good food. Bucharest doesn't have my warmest recommendations. Let's just end it by saying that. Mrs. Negative over here. Like I hate being negative. Like I really do hate it. But I, I really just need to be honest. Like I would really appreciate if someone was honest with me. Of course, you can't always take someone's opinions or experiences and just take it for good. This is just my experience. That's my opinion! Some people may say that it was way better and where they chose to eat was way better. Like, of course, if you choose to eat more expensive places, the food is probably gonna be better. We had like three really like breathtakingly amazing experiences with food. And I can link them down below if I can remember what they're called or find them or whatever. The most amazing meal we had was also the most expensive, so... <laughs> but expensive foods don't always equal good food, so... Yeah, but that's just what I take away from this trip. And if I ever go back, it's with a fatter wallet and more money to use on food. But yeah, I would probably not, like, really go back to Bucharest. If I had to go back to Romania, I would just stay somewhere else in the country. But there are so many other places in Europe I want to see, so that is not going to be into the nearest future. <laughs> I don't know why that... That was just, like... I don't even know what that was. Okay, I'm tired. I have editing brain. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next vlog where I'm at home just doing fun stuff. There's two vlogs at home. And then we're going to Mallorca. I'm so excited. Like, I haven't gone yet, but that's gonna be the videos after that. Yeah! Okay, bye!